the story of Stargazer goes back to 1999. I'd heard um, a piece by Jonathan Dove for oboe and piano and loved it. Jonathan Kelly was playing, he was now in the Berlin Philharmonic. And so the London Symphony Orchestra very kindly commissioned a piece. And um, I then went to the Vienna Philharmonic and what was going to happen with the commission, we were not sure, you know. Huh? Finally happened with Michael Tilson Thomas and the London Symphony. I mean, some years, five or six years later, I think it was, it happened. And um, what was really uh, remarkable when I met Jonathan in his uh, apartment in East London, was that he was primarily interested in me, my personality, who I was as a musician, and the trombone was really kind of secondary to that. Um, and he wanted to know what I thought about it. And I said, well, I was so disappointed that we didn't have any pieces for the trombone. Even the tubas, the Vaughan Williams tuba concerto, for goodness sake. No Mozart concerto, concertos, no nothing. And I said, just imagine what it would be like to be a trombonist now, if going right back to Mozart, you know, going through Bernstein and Stravinsky and, and, and all of the, and Holst, Holst was a trombonist, you know? What would it have been like for us now if I'd had a piece by all of these composers? And so Stargazer. Nice twinkle, twinkle little star. And he got the idea from Mozart's version variations on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So he started with Mozart as being the first composer writing for a trombone in, in a very imaginary way. And it's like this potted history of the trombone going through whole stage that there's a ta 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 which is very similar to the uh, scene in Billy Bog by Benjamin Britten where they're chasing the French um, frigate. And uh, it's uh, but he's done it in such a clever way. You know, like sometimes you get the impression that, that, you know, there's this fusion between Copeland, Stravinsky, Bernstein, but very clearly in Jonathan's voice. It's absolutely in no way is he copying, you know? He's just been so, it is such a well-written, well-composed, imaginative piece. And one other thing, the hallmark of great composers, it works. From the first, the first minute of the first rehearsal on, it just works. I'm incredibly committed to this piece. I think it's fantastic. It's a major piece. Um, it has some major demands for the trombonist, although it is very, it is not technique or register specific. There are a lot of different routes you can take through the piece to make it easier or more difficult. Um, guess which version I chose. So, as I say, I, I mean, it's, I feel, um, that as trombone players, we should be very grateful of the fact that Jonathan's written this piece for us. And um, I'm going to spend the next few years trying to get as many performances of it as I can. The recording has turned out incredibly well, so I'm really, really, really happy with it.